What's happening, people? It's your homie, Smister 400. You know what I'm saying? One half up straight off the Ave, and this is Smister Reacts. You know what I'm saying? We're going to switch the format up. You feel me? This is a show. Not a, not a, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, every so on videos type of scenario. We're going to make this more of a show thing. You feel what I'm saying? In the future, it's not going to be pre-recorded. It's going to be live so that you can interact with the topics that I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, we're going to get into this, man, without further ado. You feel me? Without further ado. So it's been a lot going on with this Diddy situation. Um, and I feel like it's so much to cover that um, it'd probably be wise if I just did, you know, one straight out recording, you feel me? And then just make my clips as I go, you feel me? So we're going to get into this right now. Um, Tupac's Pops, Billy Garland, has come out the woodworks and he got some ish to say about Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Um, as we know. Not only Diddy, but Keefe D as well. As we know, Keefe D got booked, you feel me? And they saying that he uh had this, that, and the third to do with the death. Duh. You feel me? Like, duh. We knew that. He's been talking about that forever. Like, duh. You feel me? So we got some Keefe D-ish. And then Billy Garland goes to talk about some other ish regarding Dilly. Uh, excuse me. Dilly. Diddy. You feel me? And, um... Outside of that, the man Gene Deal is back with some more. So we're going to get right into this. Okay. We're going to get right into this. You feel me? Um, Straight off the rip. All right. Tupac's dad breaks silence on Keefe D being arrested. Without further ado, let's get it popping. Uh, welcome back uh, to the Art of Dialogue. Uh, we have a very special guest once again. Uh, the last time you were on, it was fantastic. The people loved you. Um, once again, you can introduce yourself for the people who don't know, but for the people who do, um, I'm sure that they are uh, happy that you're back on the Art of Dialogue. I'm Will Garland, father of Tupac Shakur. All Me right. and you did some interviews in the past and you approached me again i'm glad it was you because i like the way you do things okay thank you and let's, let's get right into it um with the recent arrest of keefe d how do you feel about that in relation to the murder of your son tupac shakur that's a tough one but it's very clear he's just a tool what i'm gonna say right now off the rip is um this man looks just like Tupac. Like, I have Tupac's poster right here. You feel what I'm saying? So I can look at it, and I can clearly say that this man is indeed Tupac's father. It's been a lot of, you know, hoopla about that. And this man is clearly Tupac's father. Let's continue with this, man. Let's continue with this. He's always been a tool. And there's just time that they used him for what they wanted to use him. Because if you couldn't see if it was the government, Justice Department, the LAPD, the Las Vegas Police Department, and several other entities. Anytime, you know, a black man gets strong and has the potential to lead other black people, he's not going to survive. You know that they name a street after you. They give you a star on the street, but you're gone. And your desire to do what you wanted to do is gone with it. Absolutely. Tupac was a leader, and he was going to put away all that silly stuff, all that East Coast, West Coast, and he was going to get back to the basic of educating people, not just black people, all people. And that's real because I really feel like he means that. Um, Tupac was one that was very, um, you know, <clears throat> big on his people. You feel me? And, and I feel like in a way he felt betrayed by his people because, you know, it was the very people that he was fighting for that ended up taking him out. You feel me? And that's a sad scenario. We're going to get back into this, man. About the contradictions in society. 
And so, excuse me. Like I said, when when in in the situation involving KPD, um, his arrest. Why do you think that they uh, decided to do it now? One, let's be very honest. He's not a very intelligent individual. When you go on air and say you participated in a high-scale assassination, eventually it's going to come back on you. I'm surprised he went that far that long without them arresting him. It's a fact that um, Keefe D was definitely uh, talking a lot about the Tupac case. He wrote a book about the Tupac case. I don't think he should have done that if he was trying to, uh, you know, keep himself out of jail. But I think he was doing it because of the clout. He started feeling that bug. He started feeling that, you know what I'm saying? He started feeling that whole, you know... Um, Excuse me. He started feeling that whole. Uh, 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 he started feeling himself, and feeling himself got him bit right in the ass. You know what I'm saying? More, more or less. He was involved in him. He was in the car. Mm -hmm. That's aiding and abetting in a murder. But uh, he was doing his part with the rest of the people who were talking about the Lando Anderson. He was fulfilling that that glitch. He was adding to their truth which we all know wasn't true. We, you know, we know a lot of other things, particularly death row, but anyway. Right. Um, the fact that Keefe D wasn't the shooter, does it mean any more or any less? Or are you happy that somebody is actually being charged who admittingly was involved with the murder of your son, Tupac no. Shakur? I'm going to just go on a limb and say that it really don't, it is really not more or less, bro. You had something to do with it. You had something to do with it. And as a father of two sons, bruh, you take my son out in any way, fashion, you know what I'm saying? Any, any shape, fashion, form, bro, you had something to do with it. It's up. You feel me? It's up. Straight like that. I think it does absolutely nothing. I'm just as empty by the loss of my son as the rest of the world is. Everybody can see through this thin veil of deceit. It was ridiculous. They didn't believe him when he was on YouTube and VAD every week talking that stupid stuff. And he's just not an intelligent individual. And the people they use to fabricate their story, their belief, are not usually intelligent. And he. And this is just something that we know. Like a lot of times, there's going to be a scapegoat. There's going to even like in the hood, we call them crash dummies. You know what I'm saying? Like KVD was a crash dummy. You feel me? It's like, oh, he the crash dummy. Okay, cool. We're going to let him crash out. You feel me? It's only a matter of time before he crash out. He the crash dummy. Even, even being the last one standing, we gave him freedom. We let him chill in Vegas where this motherfucker then had parts in what the hell went down, taking this great, glorious young man off the fucking face of the earth. And we're going to let this man breathe. You feel me? But this man keeps. You feel what I'm saying? And ultimately, that's what took that man down at the end of the day. I truly believe. For real, for real. He got way too comfortable. He's. I don't feel bad that, uh, in fact, uh, he got arrested, but I don't think it's closure. I think it's still open to debate. But I don't think we'll ever find out who really did the, the shooting. But we know it wasn't the one individual. And I don't think he might have been involved in it, Kiefer D, but he was a pawn. He was being used, basically, maybe by the government, maybe by death row. But death row and the government is one and the same at this particular time. Okay. Not for nothing. And so the fact that he wasn't the shooter and he was arrested, um, you you feel good, bad, and different? Well, I would, no. I have no feelings about it whatsoever. Because it's not true, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. It's not it's not the truth. It's just another on being moved in the game of chess.
to just move the pieces around to create that gray area, to create that continual story that we don't know who did it. It could be. <clears throat> That's really interesting to note. You know what I'm saying? It's really interesting to note that he's basically saying that Keefe D is indeed a crash dummy, a.k.a. a pawn, you feel me? And he's just being used to string along this thing about Pac, which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I couldn't imagine losing a child, you feel me? Especially a child as brilliant as Pac. Like I got a, I got, I got two sons, like I said, and you know, one of my sons takes after me, you feel me? And, um, he's very creative. He makes beats. He's a hell of a sketcher. Um, I don't know if he can rap or sing yet, but just to imagine having a brilliant mind like that. And he's a Gemini like Pac. He was born on Pac's birthday. So yeah. Um, That's crazy, but we're not going to get too personal, man. We're not going to get too personal. Let's bring my man back to the stage. Let's go. Bring anybody. Okay. And that's what they want. And even if we found that if a man came up out of the woodwork tomorrow and said he did it, who would believe him in light of what's been happening lately with this? Based on the, based on the conspiracies and the Everything. stories right. and all of the misinformation I mean, right. and things it's like that. It's been ridiculous. Okay. They just keep throwing mud on the wall so something sticks. Right. That's what they do what the government does. They gray it. They just keep, never black and white. We just keep throwing shit up there and make it gray. Right. And you got people talking. You got some people talking he's in Mexico. Some people talking he's in Cuba drinking pina coladas. I mean, come on. Who stays away for 27 years from fame and glory? Mm -hmm. Pina coladas. What are we talking about? Pina coladas. This man ain't drinking no pina coladas. This man is out here. Damn, that was nasty on, on fucking camera. But this man is out here, you know, not drinking pina coladas. He's dead. Pac was too vocal to be alive, bro. If you think Pac is just sitting back in the corner watching this trash music, you think Pac would have let uh my coochie pink, my booty hole brown go down on you, nigga? Like, really? He dead, bro. Rest his soul, bro. Shit. Rest his soul, bro. Let this man rest. Yeah, let's get it popping. What's going on? Let's talk, Pops. It's ridiculous. So It's kind of like Tupac said in his, his lyrics. Uh, they like uh, Judas was the Jesus. They came to create confusion. That's all. Basically, I feel. Yeah. 